Hey everybody, so uh, this is going to be a short tutorial video. Uh, I'm going to show you how to have your eyes on your character go from this to this, so perfectly flat onto your head. This one's Clefairy, but this works with uh, any Pokemon. So, how did I cut all these objects so you can see the mark on the face? Uh, it's pretty simple, and I'm going to go through the uh, steps that you need. So, follow each step exactly, and then you will have a face that kind of looks like this. So, what you're going to do is you're going to copy the body. So, Control C, Control V. Move this over, you're going to make this a hole, okay? And then you're going to get a box. I mean, you can honestly grab any object. I like a box the best. I'm going to make this big, so I'm holding shift. So when you hold shift and uh, drag one of the white squares, you can actually grow the uh, shape by all sides. So instead of like dragging this, dragging this side up, dragging this side up, dragging, um, you, you can actually just grow the entire box like a box. So all the sides growing by holding shift and dragging any of the sides. So let me show you that move again. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab this um, white square and holding shift on my keyboard, dragging this until it's bigger. Okay, so now we have the head inside of a red box. Um, just for demonstration purposes, you can hit hold, you can see that uh, the head is inside. Now I'm being very careful not to accidentally change the size of this because if I do I would need to start over. Okay so now I have a bo red box inside. I need to uh, I need to group. I need to make a cutout of the actual head. So before um, and this is very important you want to uh, put the dotted red box, highlight the square, making sure that like this dotted red box is not touching anything else. So for example, this is incorrect. This is very incorrect. Instead, dotted red box, making sure that it's only over the red box. So then I'm gonna hit group, okay? So what did that, what did that just do? I actually cut out a, um, a hole inside so we can actually zoom in. You can see there's a, a cavity inside of the box, the exact size as the head, okay? Then I'm gonna make this a hole and then I'm going to, so now um, all I gotta do is uh, put this like new object that I made over the head. And so anything touching the, um, the hole, the, the uh, striped uh, lines is gonna get cut. But the body won't get cut because I made a perfect cavity for it. So now it's all about just placing it inside. So being very careful not to uh, to place this inside and oh, for some reason I'm like half a millimeter off I can change this over here and then I can hopefully drag this over uh, very precisely there we go so snap to grid sometimes it does that sometimes it doesn't I don't know why it's kind of annoying honestly but uh, just like this, and then I'm going to highlight everything inside the box. Again, being very careful not to accidentally um, select an object I'm not, I don't want, but I'm going to select the entire object on the side. So dotted, so moving my mouse over to the white area, dotted red box over everything, and then I'm going to hit group, just like this, and ta-da. So, everywhere um, I'm gonna hide this real quick so everywhere that the um, that this is touching um, is going to leave a mark and you can have it for demonstration purposes I'll show you doesn't matter how long they are um, they will get cut back because they are touching the box let me show you what happens on the incorrect uh, what is incorrect so let's just say for example I'm going to move this out longer than the box so notice how like this shape is not touching the um, the transparent box anymore I'm going to hit group again and then you will see that it actually doesn't get cut so you don't want that so make sure 
when you do this everything is inside of the box and then highlight everything inside group alright that's gonna do it for this video uh, thank you for watching